Hi there, welcome to the Flat Max UK YouTube channel. I've been observing the mirroring effect on the apparent horizon. It's also known as Fata Morgana. Fata Morgana is described by Wikipedia as an unusual and complex form of superior mirage. So, wiki this. My observations have found it is unusual not to witness this effect. I've seen it at almost all times, tides and weather conditions. Here are some examples observed at dawn, morning, evening and twilight. First of all dawn with the sun below the horizon and we are approaching low tide. So you can see it's quite apparent there. The mirroring of the hull of the boat. In the distance over on the right hand side you'll also start to see some of the small areas of land. Now there is land all across this area in the distance. I've paused the video here so we can have a closer look and enhanced the image so it's a bit clearer. I'm going to add a red line which shows the apparent water line or horizon line and above that I'm going to add a green line. Now this I've worked out is about 10 miles away from our view and you can see it's mirroring the bottom of the boat there. Then about 20 miles away you've got the land. Anything that's behind this band is totally obscured so any land objects that might be there, other boats, you're not going to see them at all. So this is pretty much classic Fata Morgana effect. I think it's got a few other names, other people have observed it and um, called it ducting or mirror bands. You can see as we zoom out there how there's no chance you're going to see this without some kind of super zoom lens. This is with the Nikon P900 which is 83 time zoom. This next one is twilight, so some is below the horizon, approaching high tide. Very obvious again. This one is later in the evening and uh, a lot lower light conditions. It's quite difficult to to focus and film at this time, but you can still see it there. It's quite apparent. If you pause it at any point, you can. You can work out where the mirror line is for yourself. I've paused it here in just a moment so you can see it. And if you're looking at any flat earth videos it's quite good fun to actually spot these when you know they're there. Now this is an elevation map. It's approximately 20 miles from the Isle of Sheppey's edge at the top left over to Margate on the top right and also about 20 miles from Hearn Bay top centre down to Folkestone bottom centre. This is the approximate direction of my view and you can see there's quite high elevation as I go further into the distance from my view. This area over to the top right, that's the area where we're getting most of the Fata Morgana and the land disappearing. You can see the elevation is a lot lower in this area so it's a lot easier to hide. So this next one, evening with the sun above the horizon, mid-tide. You can see the waterline there, a very obvious waterline and this one shows really well that this is an effect of the air not the water. We haven't got it waving around. There's no ripples in the image, it's very, very still. There's still some movement obviously because of the atmosphere. You can see that this is looking out more to where those three black arrows were. Next for morning with the sun above the horizon, low tide. A 
There are actually a few mirror lines here over on the right hand side there's the buoy which has its own then there's the boat and also then in the background the land so you can see as we get further away the height of the mirror line increases and more and more is going to be obscured and hidden You could observe this with binoculars or a telescope, you don't have to have the, the Nikon P900 or, or similar, but obviously it, it is really good because then you can film it and take photos as well so you can share it a lot easier rather than just telling people what you've seen. is going out towards the, the black arrows again more and more land disappears at a greater distance and also that land is at a, a lower level anyway so more is going to be hidden more easily you can see we're about 15 feet above sea level there So my thoughts, the Fata Morgana mirroring effect is caused by a layer of air above the apparent water or horizon line. It seems to be present most of the time if you zoom in far enough. The height of a mirrored area increases when viewing objects further away. It hides anything behind it, so land, boat holes, wildlife and so on. As perspective reduces the size of distant objects, Fata Morgana will hide anything other than high elevation land, mountains and structures. It gives a false sense of objects going below the horizon when they are not. Fata Morgana, in my opinion, is the curve. The perceived one, of course. There are other atmospheric effects that can magnify or distort light coming from distant objects. The area just above the apparent horizon is very deceptive. All of these effects should be considered. Temperature, humidity, visibility due to the density of the atmosphere and weather will also play large roles. Only now that consumers have super zoom cameras like the P900 can we consistently observe these effects ourselves. I believe that Fata Morgana and similar effects have been fooling observers with less adequate equipment since they first started to look at the distant horizon, at least over water. It's an easy conclusion to arrive at. The only way to prove this to yourself is to turn off your computer, go outside and start looking. The more observations we have the better. Please see my other videos for more explanations and ideas. Please watch with an open mind and if you have any ideas yourself please share them. Thanks for watching.